when are you expected to apply Pythagoras theorem? Number one, the triangle must be a right angled triangle. That is, one of the angles must be 90 degrees. Number two, to apply Pythagoras theorem, the internal angles of the right angled triangle is negligible, that is, is not our consign. Number three, a right angled triangle usually have three sides. The longest side is the side facing the right angle. To efficiently apply Pythagoras theorem, you must always identify the longest side first. Number four, once you have identified the longest side, here it is C. Write it out. Next, you are going to square it. Next, you are going to put an equal sign. Next, the two remaining sides, you are going to square each and sum both of them. This is Pythagoras theorem. Number five, to apply Pythagoras theorem, two sides of the right angled triangle must be known. And one side is usually unknown. The first step to solve this is to identify the longer side. The longer side is usually the side facing the right angle. The next step is to write out the value of the longer side. The next step is to square it. The next step is you're going to square each of the remaining side. After squaring each of them, then you're going to add them both. Next, we are looking for C square across the equal sign becomes a squared root. Using a calculator, we can finish this up. What we need to do here is to type the square root. 5 squared plus 12 squared and we are going to get 13. Our C is equal to 13. Let's find the length of this base. The first step is to identify the longer side, which is the side facing the right angle, and it will be squared. The next step is to square each of the remaining side and add them. Next is to isolate B. Hence, 9 squared need to move and on the other side it will become a minus 9 squared. Next, to isolate B, we are going to take the square root of the other side. Next, using our calculator, we are going to have the square root of the square root of 15 is 225 and the square root of 9 is 81 and here we're going to have 12 and the base is 12. How do you identify an unknown right angled triangle? We know that when we square the longer side it's going to be the same answer when we square the remaining side and add them. 10, 24, and 26. Let us square 26. We're going to have 6, 7, 6. The remaining side, we're going to have 10 squared plus 
24 squared and we're going to have the same answer hence this is a right angled triangle let's find the length of the ladder the ladder is facing the right angle hence we're going to have square root 9 squared plus 4 squared if we press the equal sign and we now change it to decimals we're going to have 9.85 to 2 decimal places and your unit will be in meters if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share to locate other helpful videos Follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.